Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Haley B here and today I'm gonna be talking more about Loyola. I feel like in like all my other videos, like I really don't talk about the school like that much in like depth and detail for like newcomers to the school, like freshmen or if you're a transfer student, stuff like that. So I just wanted to like, I guess, cover more about the school other than like, you know, the room I'm in the dorms and stuff. I'm still gonna be doing that though. I will have a video come out soon um for my junior move-in which is like literally this weekend anyway um so as far as Loyola goes it is a smaller campus compared to many other campuses like a public school because Loyola is a private institution yeah so it is smaller uh it's not a bad thing it's like it's it's a really nice environment and plus I love how they have the quad and um like the peace quad and stuff which you'll see whenever you're there um with like the nice trees and benches and you know places to sit outside because you know i feel like having that in your campus is like i don't know it's something that i like but i like the scenery and then plus like right across the school from um right across from the school is audubon audubon park and it's really beautiful over there too so. but yeah you know it's a smaller campus compared to many other public campuses and um loyola is actually right across the street from tulane and we do have like shared access. So it's kind of like a, um, why would I say access? We share certain things. So like if you're at Tulane, you can go to classes at Loyola or if you're at Loyola, you can go to classes at Tulane, you know, stuff like that. And also as a Loyola student, you get to like go to their um, campus to eat. Like if you want to go to their cafeteria and eat instead of eating at the OR, that's the thing as well. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> it's nice having like a little partner school. So you'll see Tulane kids on Loyola campus and vice versa. Um, so back to Loyola, Loyola has a total of five dorms. They have um, Cabra and Founders, which are both located on Broadway campus, which isn't too far from the school. It's, I'm bad with directions, but <laughs> if you ever look up the campuses on um, Loyola's website, you can see where they're at, you know, look a little bit more into them. And then the main ones on campus are um, Buttig, Beaver, and um, Francis Family Hall. So Beaver is actually a completely like freshman dorm, like only freshmen live in Beaver. I think it's six floors, six floors. Um, that's where I lived freshman year. You can also live in Buttig freshman year though. So like if you're an honor student or athlete or whatever, or if you just want to be in Buttig, I think, I forgot how it works out or if anything changed, but you know, you can be a freshman living in Buttig. So Buttig houses um, freshmen through senior. Sorry if I'm like looking down, I'm looking at my computer <laughs> so I can like read out like what I'm trying to talk about. Um, but yeah, so Buttig rooms freshmen to seniors and um, Francis family is sophomore to senior. Usually the first week is Wolfpack welcome for all freshmen coming in. So it, you know, it gets them oriented with school, the layout, you know, where everything's at. Um, so yeah, basically you'll just get to go around the school, you know, you'll be doing like activities and stuff. I'm not sure if it's like the whole week or whatnot. It was the whole week for whenever we came. So it was, it was, it was, it was a long time, but it wasn't bad. And with Wolfpack Welcome, there's also a Wolfpack Wednesday that starts up. And it's an organization that encourages like the Loyola community to wear a maroon and gold to like show their spirit for the school. And you are given free items in return. So like it's usually like every Wednesday of a week. And I've gone a few times where they've had like wings and fries, like just free food, free like cups and items. Like it's just a bunch of different stuff and you'll get to see. And um, I think it's really nice, like giving back to us, like for supporting our school and whatnot. And also, if you do want uh, merch, what what is it? Why is it? Why is it merch? I guess it is merchandise for the school. If you wanted like any sweatshirts or anything, they're always going to be in the bookstore. Um, also, um, another thing they have is like movie nights. So it's like a Loyola has like definitely has like community activities. Um, for anybody to participate in, like it's it's always there for you. So like when Christmas came around, they showed um, 
how the Grinch stole Christmas and Elf. And it was really nice, like, you know, just because it was, I think we had finals and whatnot. So it was just like, yay, watch some Christmas movies and study. But you know, it was, it was a good atmosphere. Moving along to travel. I know a lot of people, especially moving um, to Loyola, some people might not have cars. They might not have any type of transportation, including a bike. You can bring a bike as well, just to let y'all know. Um, if you don't, like if you're moving there and you need some type of transportation, you don't have a car, thing like that, you can get a bike if you like. They have um, these bike rails. You could just lock up your bike there or they have trolleys and the trolley cars, um, they, they're rolling like all the time. There's an app basically that tells you um, when the trolley is coming and you know, times and stuff like that. So if you wanna go down St. Charles, try to get off to go to magazine or something like that, you always have trolley cars accessible to you. Like I said, going back to Otterman Park, um, it's across the way from the school and it has a nice lake um, with a running path. Like you always see a lot of, um, I guess like the track teams or anybody just running through Audubon all the time. And um, it's a really nice atmosphere over there. I think they also have a park. Well, not like a park, but like, it is a park. What am I talking about? There's a play area, um, like, I guess for the kids and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's a nice area over there. And then getting back to, I guess, moving on to food or anything. One for Ray Street, which is the main street, you know, how to get to the campus. They have a bunch of different food places to try. Um, one that I recommend is Good Bird. Um, they have really, really good sandwiches and fresh smoothies. And that dog, they have like, they have so many different combinations of hot dogs and then like tots and stuff like that. I definitely recommend that you try that out. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice. You just, it's like, I guess I'm just like recommending like certain things for you to go try. But I mean, honestly, when you get down there, like being a first year, it's a lot, a lot going on. Like being a first year, I understand completely because you're just like, what do I do? Like, what is out there? I need to explore. And you'll definitely find that time to go explore. But yeah, also I think it's like right around the corner, um, going on to Foray and then like, right on um, Broadway Street. Um, there's a place called The Mushroom and it's a nice little record store. They have like posters and a bunch of other knickknacks and stuff in there too. Um, so if you're like looking for some posters um, to hang up on your wall for like decorations or anything like that, definitely check out The Mushroom. They have some really nice stuff up in there. And also, if you're like a pastry gal, I love pastries or like any like fresh little fluffy something, which is a pastry. Um, <laughs> I like it. So I recommend um, La Boulangerie on Magazine Street. They have literally every day fresh bread, fresh bread, have to say that again because it's so fresh. Like you walk up in there, it's like, oh, give me a loaf. Cakes, I do recommend the carrot cake. If you do like carrot cake, it's really good. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon roll, but also like carrot cake vibe. I don't know how to describe it, but it's good. Um, they have croissants, like all my croissants, it's really good. Um, but yeah, go there, try it out a couple times. It's really good. So I definitely recommend you to um, go try that out for sure. For sure. So moving on to, I don't know why I keep saying moving on, like I, it makes no sense. So I guess getting to when you're going to hang out with your friends and stuff like that. Like if you don't want to stay on campus or like stay cramped up in the dorm, I recommend a place called The Fly. Um, it's Audubon Riverview Park, AKA The Fly. A lot of people call it The Fly. So if you're ever trying to figure out like searching up on Google, like where the hell is The Fly? It's called Audubon Riverview. Oh my God. Audubon Riverview Park. But yeah, it's a really nice place to hang with friends. Um, it's a common hangout area for both Loyola and Tulane students. And I believe some other students come there too. Like I think, I don't know. I only see, I only ever see like when I go Loyola and Tulane students. So, you know, but it's, you know, a very nice place to go. And it's like right by the water. So I recommend that if you want to like go and just chill and lay out on a blanket or 
crochet. I mentioned crochet because that'd be other crochet in. But yeah, definitely check that out as well. And another thing, if you like to be like in, um, I cannot speak today. I am struggling. Also, if you want to be involved in like other activities or like such with um, the community, both Loyola or Tulane, um, they do have basketball games and volleyball games. And also in the Dana Center, like I guess talking about Loyola again, um, in the Dana Center, we do have some food areas. So we do have a Starbucks, Subway, Smoothie King. Um, we have a Tsunami Sushi place. So it has like sushi, um, poke bowls. Um, they also have like, uh, like it's like a bowl with like rice, veggies, and like some chicken and stuff like that. Um, we have stuff like that there. We also have like OBC grill. So it's basically like burgers, fries, stuff like that. And you can use your Wolf Bucks, which um, is part of your meal plan. You can use that for your food in the Dana Center, or you could also use your own money. Also, I wanted to talk about different things that um, you might want to pack. Um, so I don't have a list for this, so I'm just going to start naming stuff off the top of my head. I do recommend a robe. Um, like first year, it was nice to have a robe because like I just put my robe on, go shower at the communals, because I was in deeper, um, put it back on, you know, dry off in my room if my roommate wasn't there, um, stuff like that. So it was just like easier for me. I do recommend like if you do like um, coffee, if you don't have like a coffee machine, oh my God. I cannot speak you guys. So it was really hard for me to like, elaborate on things so like say you like coffee and you don't have a coffee machine i actually have a um a french press and i brought brought i bought an electric kettle this summer <laughs> so every morning i can wake up you know make my coffee in my french press and save some of my wolf bucks so i don't spend it all at starbucks and make my own coffee in the morning so i'm gonna be doing that i recommend you know getting an electric kettle or um, a French press if you don't want to buy like a bigger coffee machine, you just want them, something little for yourself. And also an electric kettle for like ramen or, you know, if you're a ramen girl, get you an electric kettle. Cause so it's a little easier than like trying to put it in a rice cooker and stuff like that, which I do have a rice cooker as well. Um, but I think it'll be a little easier with the electric kettle. Some other things I recommend to bring is like um, like a whiteboard, like a whiteboard calendar that you can just hang up on your wall because that's what I have at school. And I use that to just like write down when my exams are coming up so I can like when I'm walking in or out the door of my, um, my dorm, I'm just like, okay, I have this coming up. Oh, got this. Okay, let me make sure I get this. Like it just helps me stay on track of like what's going on. It helps me to not fall behind. Honestly, I didn't really get involved and like do a lot of stuff until like my sophomore year. So like if you wanted to bring some games and stuff to like, I guess if you want to hang out with some people and have something for you guys to do and just, you know, chat while y'all are doing it. I brought, I think I brought Uno cards or like any little card games like that. I recommend bringing those. I really don't know what to recommend like to bring because literally my first year when I like moved in, do not bring that much stuff. That's all I have to say. I have no idea how I fit it in that space in that video you saw like me like decorating my room like this. Don't know how I fit all of that in that space, but I did it. But I, you don't need to bring all that stuff. It's hard to explain, but I feel like once you buy stuff that you think you need and you get there, you're like, oh, I don't need this. I don't need that. And it's like over the years, it helps you figure out like what you really need to bring. Because coming up on my junior year, it's like I'm finding like, oh, well, like I don't need all this either. And also like cleaning, make sure you go through your stuff and like make sure you're throwing out stuff that you don't need because when you pack up again, like I did for sophomore year last year, I didn't go through my stuff before moving back in and I had so much extra stuff that I did not need. So I do recommend that like after, you know, you go through your two semesters and you go back home, 
always go back through your stuff and be like, hey, like I didn't use this this year. Let me take that out. Oh, I didn't use that either. What is this doing here? Just make sure you go through all your stuff and figure out what you need and what you don't need. As well as clothing and stuff, you do not need a lot of shoes. You do not. Like, <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, let me, buy, let me bring these, let me bring these. I wanna style these with these. You do not need that many shoes. For me, I know like nursing, we have a couple of like things where we might need some nice shoes. So I'll just keep like a pair of like some little tiny heel wedge shoes. I don't know how to describe them. Some dress shoes, I'll say dress shoes. My walk around shoes, which would be my Crocs, cause I have some Crocs now. Um, be my Crocs and maybe like three pairs of shoes because I have to bring my docs because you can pair docs with anything. So I always bring my doc boots, my doc loafers, and then I bring like maybe two or three more pairs of shoes and that's it. Also with clothing, do not bring <laughs> anything, um, like no, not a lot of sweatshirts and stuff because literally it's gonna be hot down here. I will say until December because last year <laughs> I was like, oh, it's gonna get chilly because it's December, no. Um, it's like devil's ass crack weather until, I don't know, for a really long time. Cause I'm, I'm a naturally like hot person. So I don't like being hot. I'd rather be cold. So I'm always like wearing like tanks or like, you know, shorter like tops and stuff because I just get hot really easily. But if you do want to bring like sweaters i would recommend bringing like maybe like if you have two favorite sweatshirts bring those two and if you wear cardigans maybe bring a cardigan or something like that but you really don't need anything like that until i would say spring semester or the end of fall semester because the weather's not really like chilly like that yeah just prepare yourself for that because like you'll be wearing shorts and tank tops for a really long time because this is Louisiana and it's really hot. Especially being in New Orleans, like by the water, humid and hot. That's basically what you're running into. And talking about water, another thing, bring a Brita. Um, the water is not the best. So I do recommend to bring a um, Brita filter. I have um, a Brita container, it's like about this. Oh. Kind of hard to show about like that big i just have it in my fridge all the time um because the water is like just bring i wouldn't say to bring decorations unless you've been there already like if you like me i know what i'm bringing back as far as decorations but i would say to just like if, when you're ready to decorate your room we they have stores down there like there's a five and below um that has a lot of posters or a lot of stuff. If you just need some things to decorate your room really quickly, they have some stuff there. As well as the mushroom that I mentioned, they have some really nice stuff there too, um, to go check out. Um, they also have jackets too. Like, I like their jacket, I'm gonna get it. I want the brown one. The brown one is so nice because I love brown and green. But yeah, I hope this was informational enough. If you ever have any questions or um, anything about the school, you can always email me, leave a comment down below, anything like that. You can always reach me there. Um, but I hope this was helpful for you guys and informational. Um, but yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.